Hey guys, what's up? It's April. Today I'm here to talk about my favourite book of all time, Jane Eyre. I recently read Jane Eyre for the first time and it easily became my favourite book. It is so amazing and I just wanted to discuss it with you guys because it had such an impact on me. So Jane Eyre is all about this girl, Jane Eyre, who is very plain and her parents died when she was very young. So her uncle promised that he would keep Jane Eyre as if she were his own but his uncle tragically passed away and so she's left with her aunt and her cousins who all despise her for no good reason. They think she's a liar, they think she's awful, when she's the one who gets bullied all the time by her cousins. So that's where it kicks off. And then she's sent to Lowood School, which is a boarding school for girls. And she stays there until she's 19 years old. Um, she teaches there for two years after her education. And we learn a lot about Jane while she attends that school. Um, some tragic things happen there and it's really sad. And we follow her as she goes to Thornfield Hall and this is where she meets Mr. Rochester and she becomes a governess and she discovers some secrets there and it is such a beautiful gothic novel that I just love with all my heart. So the whole novel spans from when Jane is eight years old all the way up until she's 30 years old. I feel such compassion for Jane Eyre because she's so misunderstood. And I think that just speaks to a lot of people. Um, you know, that she's not beautiful. She's just plain. I loved reading about the early years, especially when she's at the boarding school. I don't know, something about boarding schools. I just always love reading about, but I just, Jane as a young child was so interesting to read about and I felt like I knew her, I just wanted to protect her and I couldn't. Something that I really love about this book is how Jane breaks the fourth wall a lot and addresses you as the reader and it really pulls you into the, the book and you feel like you're there and she's talking to you and it's so cool. Along with that, Jane is really witty and she can be really sarcastic and this takes a lot of the characters by surprise because the things that come out of her mouth they just don't expect at all and it's amazing. I love how Mr. Rochester is also described as plain and basically he's described as ugly and I thought that was really interesting um, because you don't see that in modern literature. I think a lot of the time the main characters are beautiful but they just don't know it whereas these characters weren't beautiful and I thought that was so refreshing. It was so gothic and it almost had a supernatural element to it at some points and those elements really surprised me because I wasn't expecting them. So much easier to read than I thought it would be. I read Pride and Prejudice in January and I thought that Jane Eyre, the language was easier than Pride and Prejudice. And I think that's because it was published like 20 years after Pride and Prejudice, but it was just so easy to get into. But essentially at the core of the novel, it is about betrayal and forgiveness. And it also has very strong feminist themes and some people might argue, I think the fact that, mild spoilers ahead, I think the fact that she, when she found out about Rochester's betrayal, she chose to leave him even though she was entirely dependent upon him and in the end she chose to go back to him. She didn't have to do that and Rochester may not have been the greatest man but she loved him for what he was and it was her decision in the end to go back to him. No one made her do that and she was such a strong female character in all that she did. I just think that's worth thinking about. Um, I loved the feminist themes. I love how Jane is constantly just craving for equality between man and woman. She, you know, explains them as just being, you know, her soul talking to his soul. And Rochester, yeah, he wasn't the most likable character. At first I was very unsure of him. But in the end, 
I'd grown really attached to him and he was just such a different character. So if you haven't read Jane Eyre, I definitely recommend you try it. You may be surprised. It was absolutely fantastic. Something that as soon as I finished reading it, I wanted to just start it all over again. I also watched the 2011 um, adaptation with Michael Fassbender and Mia... <laughs> I can't pronounce her name. Um, and I loved it, but if you've seen that movie and not read the book, there is an epilogue in the book, okay, and it gives you so much closure, so I highly recommend reading the book. Let me know your thoughts on Jane Eyre down below, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Goodbye!